Welcome! This video is an overview of CQG's QTrader quote displays that also include trade routing functionality. These quote displays follow a spreadsheet look with rows listing symbols and the columns are market data, studies and conditions, as well as trade routing functions and features. This video highlights the features and benefits of each display. We'll cover the portfolio monitor shown here, a quote spreadsheet version 2, the spreadsheet trader, and instrument monitors. Other videos will walk you through configuring the displays. To add any of these displays to a page, simply click the quote toolbar button and make your selection. Spreadsheet Trader is found on the Trade button. We will start with the Quote Spreadsheet version 2, which is part of the home page. Here's the Quote Spreadsheet. You can see that it has tabs. You can quickly change your selection of market groups. Along the top you see the column titles for each market data. To add a symbol, select the cell and enter in the symbol. The default version of the quote spreadsheet does not come with trade routing features, but that can be added. The default version of the Spreadsheet Trader does include trade routing functionality, and you can access one here by clicking the Trade to Toolbar button. The Spreadsheet Trader has expandable sets of rows for each symbol showing you a depth of market ladder. The best bid and ask prices and queue volumes are here. and the offered side is over here. These two columns display working orders. To place a limit order, simply left click the buy limit at the price. To place a stop, right click or hold down the control button. To cancel orders, simply right click. An additional feature is to link the spreadsheet trader to the DOM trader. Now the DOM trader is linked the spreadsheet trader and it will show the same orders. I place an order and it appears on the DOM trader. Place another one. Now to cancel both of these I can simply click here. Within the spreadsheet trader if you place an order you can drag it to a new price. Double clicking exposes order information. You can copy this information to a clipboard. Next is the portfolio monitor. When you first launch a portfolio monitor, it is blank because it is very flexible and different customers will want different features. Here's one that I've built as an example. Again, the steps to designing your own are covered in other videos. I'm using a black theme, and I have market data, trade routing functionality, orders and positions information, and I have an RSI study and an RSI condition. Currently, none of the conditions are happening. Trade routing is the same as the spreadsheet trader. Click here to place an order, place an order. Finally, here is the instrument monitor. The instrument monitor tracks a single instrument 
across multiple time frames and chart types with multiple studies and indicators in a spreadsheet view. I have 5 minute bars, 60 minute bars, and constant volume bars using 10 contracts. I have these conditions and study values. You can have multiple tabs. You cannot trade from the instrument monitor, but you can link it to an order routing interface. Here I click on this tab, and you see that the DOM trader changed to the E-mini NASDAQ. Now it is changing to gold. If you would like to explore more features of QTrader, simply click on the question mark and context sensitive help opens. It is searchable. And if you need immediate assistance, click on the support toolbar button, select ask CQG or live chat, and you will immediately connect to a CQG customer support person. This concludes our video. For more information about CQG products and services, please visit CQG.com.